Okay, so am I looking at the right things? 16.40, 8 hours, 50 minutes, and 54 rolls? Those are I'm looking for, yeah? Okay, what do, we, what do we think? We got some agreement on 1,640 liters. Yes? yes? No, heads up, heads up, I'd like to see. Yeah, okay, a lot of heads, but not all of them, heads down. Can someone therefore explain? I mean, we have some working on here. We have no words though. Can I get an explanation? Maybe not for the person who wrote it. What, what's, what's going on? Yeah, thank you. I was going to say, because uh, so three hours and 25 minutes is 205 minutes. Yeah, okay, so just pause for a second. So that's what this first line is, right? I would have loved, and I, I didn't expect people to write it working, but if you have working, I'd love you to say something like, even, even just the word, minutes, right? By the way, I think there's something missing from the top line. There's zero. Zero? Okay, cool. There's a convenient gap for it, so <laughs> that's okay. Um, so just to say, like, what is this number? What does it signify? And you can, there's enough context to work out. Okay, three lots of 60. Once it says 60, plus the 25 minutes, that's already there. So you get 205. Okay, do you want to pick up again? Yeah, so it's 205 minutes each times by eight. Okay, good. We just multiply by eight because every single minute that passes, you're getting eight extra litres of water. So that's why we're multiplying these two together and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what you end up with after that amount of time. Okay, when you get to part B, now I've got a question here about, oh, is this a capacity question? We haven't looked at capacity yet. I mean, not this year anyhow, you've seen it before. We haven't looked at capacity this year, but this is not really a capacity question, is it? I mean, it's got the word capacity in it. But what is this question about? What's it really about? What's the idea behind this? It's about how time and this capacity, this quantity, relate to each other, right? Where well, you have two quantities, and the quantities are measuring different things, like, say, liters and time. What do we call that? There are two things that both start with R, but one's when they're... Yeah, this is a rate. When they're the same, it's a ratio, yeah? So this is really a rate question, and so that's why we can still tackle it, right? Um, there's a lecture line of working we could add here. What would you put in above before we get to this time calculation? Anyone? Can you take this? Yeah, Laura. Um, well, I've converted 4.2 kilos to liters, and okay. that's what the rate is in. So then I got 525, which is different from that answer, and I ended up getting 8,045 minutes, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's try and tackle what to do with this. Now, in just the same way that we multiply by 8 here, right? Because, like, I know the time. And I want to know the, the total amount. Here I'm going in reverse, right? So I know the total amount, but I don't know how long it's going to take. So instead of multiplying by 8, that's why the next step is to divide by 8, right? So you divide this by 8. And what number does that actually give you? I read the question wrong. <laughs> that's okay. All right. So 530 minutes. You're going to take out, you're going to divide through by 60 um, to get however many hours you can get out of that. And then you've got some leftover minutes. Yeah, eight hours is 480 minutes, so it looks good. Uh, yeah, sorry, eight hours, 480 minutes. 49 and 48 seconds. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, everything looks nice and exact to me. All right, now, lastly, and this one's an important one, how do you get to 54 rolls? Hands up if you've got that answer. Yeah, all right, I've got it. So can someone explain to me like some lines of working that I can put down? Yeah, I'll Um. Do. So you know that 72 pies is equivalent to 4. So divide, I divided 72 pies. Okay, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Sorry everyone, my bad. Can we just uh, resume that thought? Eliza, you, the last thing I heard you say was you divided by four, yeah, right? Yeah, four is for the Okay, so if we divide this by four, which gives you what, 18? 18. 18. 18. 18. 18, okay. So what does that mean? That's just equivalent to like one on the ratio. Okay, so let's just pause for a moment because I'm actually going to, I'm going to take this idea, we're crunching through these numbers in the right way, but I'm actually going to set it out quite differently because I don't know, maybe you set it out exactly like this, but I'm already getting a little bit confused as to like, what's, what's my path through here? When do I divide? When do I multiply? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this ratio here. I'm going to start with this one. There are two ratios. Why is it that I start with this ratio and not the other one? Yeah, actually. It's, it's like a one to the number ratio, where it's like the same count, but you just want to. 
Okay, so the first thing is it's an easier ratio to work with. It's a one to something or a something to one ratio. That's a plus. But actually much more important to me is that I only really know one piece of like concrete information here, which is these 72 pines that um, Eliza started with, right? Now, this is the ratio, this one to four one. It's the one that has pies in it. Do you see that? The other ratio doesn't have anything to do with pies. So you've got to start here. Start with the pies. That's always a good principle in life. So here's what I'm going to write. Uh, sandwiches to pies, right? So I'm going to write one sandwich. And if you're working out, start it differently to mine. Can you follow along with me? One sandwich to four pies. That's what this ratio says. Okay? Now instead of dividing by four, again, same idea, I want to turn this ratio into a ratio that works with my numbers. Okay? So instead of dividing by four, I'm going to multiply by something to turn this right hand side into 72 pies. Now we actually already know what number that is. It's 18, right? So I'm going to have 18 sandwiches for 72 pies. Does that make sense? You see, I started with something I knew, and then I changed it. Now I've got the relationship continuing. So then I take this idea and I can move to my next ratio, right? Because now I've got bread rolls and sandwiches. What's the ratio here? Three bread rolls. Three bread rolls to two sandwiches, right? But in fact, we know from the previous line that there were not two sandwiches, there were 18. So what am I going to do with this line? Nine. I'm going to multiply both sides. Very good. So multiply this by 9 gives me the 18 that I wanted. And then you multiply this by 9, which gives you? Okay. Okay. All right. So, so that's a great question. How did I know it was 9? I wrote this down, the question just told me 3 to 2. Yeah, uh, there he is, right there. It, he told me 3 to 2. But that's a simplified ratio, right? There were much more than that, and they divided through by some number. So what I did was I based it on how many sandwiches I know they actually sold, which you helped me work out earlier was 18. Question? So it's 27 the answer. Now, here's the lovely thing about this, right? Here's the lovely thing about this. You can backtrack through this. You can backtrack through, and this is so important, because you don't want to know this is right because I told you. You want to know it's right because you can convince yourself of the answer. Now, just like back in, um, just like back in AM1, when we were solving equations, right? You get an equation, you get down to something, you're like, x equals whatever number you like. What do you do with that number to check whether you were correct or not? If you solve an equation, you it back back. yeah, you pop it back in, right? So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here with what I know to be, what I think to be true, and I'm going to see if it jives with what the question said, okay? I think there are 27 bread rolls and 18 sandwiches. Does this match the roll to sandwich ratio they're giving me? Yeah. It does, right? So, tick, okay? Just keep going backwards through. The next thing I think is that there are 18 sandwiches to 72 pies. That's what? Check on a calculator. Does that match the 1 to 4 ratio that they're saying sandwiches to pies? It does. And you're going back one more step. They're then telling me there are 72 pies. Have I already got that? I, I do, right? So I've now accounted for all of the information in the question. Okay? Now, 54, you can see this is not that far off. Well, I mean, that's a lot of rolls, but it's only off by a factor of two, right? Yeah, or a half, right? So you can see this is not a crazy answer, but the question of, well, how did we get unhinged from that to get to here? I can almost guarantee we'll, pit, we'll sort of circle on, like, how did you actually set this out? When did you choose to divide or multiply? And therefore, like, where did your error actually creep in? And, you know, there are lots of different ways to get this wrong because there are lots of different ways to go through this question.